Hello guys, Mr. Allen C here, and today we're taking a look at a very early patent, an official patent, for what only appears to be the TR-3B. It's labeled in the patent as Triangular Spacecraft, and this patent was filed December 20th, 2004, by a John St. Clair. And this John St. Clair guy, he has tons of patents with spacecraft, propulsion systems, and more. We'll get into that more in a minute. Welcome to our Disclosure Project. We started this project tonight on the channel. Give us a thumbs up if you're excited about this new series to let us know to keep it going. And uh, let's go ahead and read a description on the official patent. It says, A spacecraft having a triangular hull with vertical electrostatic line charges on each corner that produce a horizontal electric field parallel to the sides of the hull. This field interacting with the plane wave emitted by the antennas on the side of the hull generates a force per volume combining both lift and propulsion. Now this is the exact look of the TR-3B. It's got the infamous lights on the three corners that people have seen this in the sky since 2004 and they have been labeled crazy out of their mind. Well here you go, here is an official patent letting it know it was in the works at that time so incredible stuff what do you guys think about this official patent uh, on the TR-3B we want to know we're also going to go ahead and get you a link to it in the video description this is official stuff groundbreaking evidence so uh, leave your thoughts below you can also look through there's just mathematical equations and uh, so many additional details on that page. So we'll leave it to you guys to explore that further. Let's go ahead and if you click on the inventor's name, John St. Clair, you can click it and it'll bring you over to a list of other inventions he has filed patents for, which range from general everyday items to space propulsion systems and all this technology. All right, we've clicked his name on the uh, TR3B page and it brought up a list of all of his patents for John St. Clair here. You can see there's 71 results and things get crazy. These these go on for pages and pages. Um, the first one on the list, hyperspace torque generator. I'm gonna have to check that out guys. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. These are official patents and they're detailed. Next we have a patent for an improved periodic wireless data broadcast. Okay, interesting. Not as quite as interesting but more every day. Next we have an electric dipole mo moment propulsion system. I don't even know how to say that because that's so high tech I've never even heard of it. Electric dipole moment propulsion system. Incredible. And on the bottom you can also see the stick pin fastener. <laughs> now that might be more, a little more everyday. Alright guys, these inventions are getting out of this world. So we're taking a closer look at the hyperspace torque generator. Never thought I'd look at an official patent for one of these. I've never even heard of one of these. Let's read about it. The official description. A hyperspace torque generator which comprises of a flat biffler magnetic bucking field electrical coil, crystal ball, crystal ball, what? And lever arm, or I'm sorry, lever arm and frequency generator for producing a linear flow of hyperspace energy at right angles to a rotating flow of astral chakra energy. And there's all these diagrams. See these pictures below? You guys need to go explore this. You can click every picture. It's, it's going to show how things work. And you can blow them up full screen. So we got, we got tons of amazing content here. Welcome to our own personal disclosure project. We started this on the channel tonight. Go ahead, hit that thumbs up button, and leave a comment, and subscribe, and turn on notifications. We need you to do this to let us know to keep this this project and this series this YouTube series going so let us know by subscribing leaving a comment and hitting that thumbs up button so here's another one for the electric dipole moment propulsion system dipole moment propulsion system moment that, that's that's a unique name um, it says this invention relates to a spacecraft propulsion system utilizing a rotating octagon of trapezoidal electrically charged flat panels to create an electric dipole moment. Oh, it creates the electric dipole moment that generates lift on the hull. 
On the interior side of each panel are electrical, statically charged rods which produce a planar electric field that emerges from holes in the panel to form a ellipsoidal, ellipsoidal potential energy bubble on the outside of the hull. The rotating hull dipole moment generates a magnetic moment which Together, the magnetic field gra gradient developed by the rotating electric field of the electric, I'm sorry, of the electrostatically charged panels produces said lift force. The potential energy field is enhanced by using a double cladding of hull material with dif different ranges of perimetives. All right, this is incredible. These are incredible. I don't understand this stuff personally, but the fact that there's official patents out here, this one was submitted in November, no, May 2002 by John St. Clair again. We got to get this information to people that know what they're doing, like Dr. Stephen Greer and professionals in the field who can take a look at these patents, test this stuff, and come out with disclosure. This is incredible. Guys, I urge you to investigate this further. There's dozens of patents. And uh, we're just going to try Googling this John St. Clair. Okay, guys, we found the inventor, John St. Clair. He's a big deal. He's legitimate. Just minutes of investigating on Google, I came across this article. Uh, it's labeled My Hero Science Heroes. So this this write-up, the first two paragraphs, I'm going to read it to you. It's incredible. He's, he's a world-renowned scientist, and uh, it is known. Ever since the 17th century, mankind has sought ways of pr processing and delivering information as quickly and reliably as possible. Anyone who has operated a handheld calculator is a benefactor of mankind's insatiable appetite for the dissemination of control of information. Now, here's the good part right here. Into this quest stepped Jack St. Clair Kilby co-inventor with Robert Noyce of the microchip. With Kilby's invention of the world of circuits, it made a quantum leap and its effects are so far reaching the capabilities of the computer you are reading this on would be extremely limited if not for this invention. Incredible stuff we're finding. I also found another image. Alright, I also seen this rendering of the TR3B on Google which reads in the top left corner St. Clair. So I don't know who's responsible for this rendering, but obviously they're onto the patent as well. What do you guys think about all this? Let me know. Keep, I want you guys to go out. We got a squad of you guys. Go out and investigate this stuff. Use the resources I presented to you today. And let us know in the comments what you, what you find. 